Hey guys, uh, well today we're going to talk a little bit about emulation running on the Xbox Series S. This is a process that I'm still going through, learning, trying new things, trying new emulators. It's been fairly complicated and I am by no means an expert. I merely have been experimenting and trying things, looking at what other people have done and what they have to say. And I'll say this is a pretty complicated process. Uh, you can do this through developer mode, which I understand is, has some pluses and some minuses. You might not want to do that because some people have said that if you don't keep up with developer mode the way you're supposed to, Microsoft can actually take it away from you. So all the stuff you do that you set up might actually not be there for very long. So there's a way to set this up through retail mode, and you probably want to look for some good tutorials about how to do that. There's a Discord server where they'll explain things to you a lot better than I can, and I will try to give you some information about that in the, in the description of this video. But I just want to give you some updates on what I've got going on. So uh, there's still a bunch of stuff that I'm learning. There's still a bunch of things I'm trying. Right now I'm using a, an older, just a regular USB 2.0 thumb drive, a very small one, but I do have a new one coming. So I'll be able to do a lot more once I get that set up. Um, so, but anyway, for right now, there's, there's a couple of different things that I've got going retro arc and a whole bunch of cores in that and dolphin. Uh, there's a PlayStation portable emulator. That's a standalone emulator that I also got set up, but I can't figure out how to get it to work. It just doesn't seem to work, but it, it's really not relevant because I got all that set up in retro arc and it works fine. But um, some other stuff that I have set up that is pretty important. Um, you want to probably get this FTP client set up because that's helpful. Again, you know, watch the other videos, what, you know, read stuff on the discord, whatever, find out what you need to do for that. I'm not really the guy that can help you with that too much. If you have questions, I can point you in the right direction, but I'm, I struggle with all this too. So I'm, I'm, I'm like you. <laughs> Um, so anyway, let me show you some of the results I've gotten with Dolphin just to start off. I've got these four games going, and I just want to show you some of the gameplay so you can see what it looks like. And before I get into any games, I do also want to just walk you through some of the settings here just so you can see some of the stuff that's possible. Uh, as you can see, you can set up memory cards um, in uh, like slot A and slot B memory cards. You can also set up broadband adapter so you can actually play like fantasy star online with this thing which is pretty impressive and that's for gamecube and we there's things you can set up for that too um you can tell it to automatically try to stretch the image to 16 by 9 there's a few different settings you can do and of course you can adjust your internal resolution so we're going to go with the 3x native resolution for this and let's take a look at super mario sunshine to start off Okay, and here it is. You can see running a lot higher resolution than the than it actually does on the actual GameCube. Runs at 30 frames per second because that's what the game runs at. It actually is like locked at 30. So if you're wondering why that's the case. But it controls great. It looks amazing. You can uh, adjust the aspect ratio if you want it stretched out. I like it to look how it's supposed to look, so that's why I have it here. Um, also, I should mention that force feedback works just fine. So yeah, you can play some Super Mario Sunshine better than it actually does on the GameCube. I'm sure you played or you've heard of uh, Metroid Prime Remastered, which is now available on the Nintendo Switch. And you can sort of play your own Metroid Prime Remastered if you want to try it at a higher internal resolution on your Xbox Series S. 
So let's check that out. It's not going to have the new textures, obviously, and the new control scheme, but I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, who doesn't love Metroid, right? <laughs> Lock on, that would help. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, everything seems to run pretty well as far as everything I've tried for GameCube. Um, I haven't gotten Nintendo 64 stuff set up. PlayStation 2, PlayStation, Sega Saturn. There's a bunch of things I haven't got set up. Uh, I was able to get PlayStation Portable stuff working though through RetroArch, along with a whole bunch of other stuff. You'll notice there's a couple of spots here where the game hitches up and, and kind of glitches a little. And that's because I'm running off that old ass USB 2 thumb drive. So you definitely want a USB 3 thumb drive if you can. Uh, another thing I want to mention just real quick is uh, the reason you want that FTP client so you can set up your BIOS files in the right directory for the emulators that require that, like the PlayStation Portable. Let's check that out actually. Okay, we got RetroArch running here, and I have a whole bunch of emulators set up. Sorry, 2600, 7800, even the Intellivision, uh, which is another one you need to set up the BIOS for. Turbo graphics, all kinds of different stuff. 32X runs great. Um, I'll show you that in just a second. But first, we're going to take a look at PlayStation Portable. And you, you will need the BIOS for this, and you will need to go in and set it up to run at a higher resolution, which is not a big deal. You do all that. You, you can set all that up in RetroArch, um, but you'll need that FTP client for uploading stuff. PlayStation Portable has so many awesome games, and running, it, running them at a higher resolution makes such a difference.
I haven't tried a whole bunch of games for PlayStation Portable yet. I've only tried a few, but all of them seem to run at full speed and even with like, this is like three times native resolution. So I'm not having any issues with the uh, PlayStation Portable stuff. If you never played uh, Maverick Hunter X on the PSP, it is uh, a very interesting, really cool way to play Mega Man X. I wish there were more Mega Man games that they had done like this, because it's pretty cool. As you can see, it's running great. So, yeah, there's so many emulators that I have set up on RetroArch, and they're all running great. Um, yeah, 32X runs. Everything runs great. Um, I'll show you that for just a second. Let's see. We'll go down to Virtual Racing. Yeah. And you can see it's running full speed. This is actually the, you know that's that's how it looks on a 32x it runs perfectly so i'm looking forward to setting up more stuff obviously you can actually even set up we'll close out of that um like that new version of doom that was put out for the 32x and we'll load that i have to get it to Let's see, let's load that straight up. There we go, Doom Resurrection. If you haven't tried this, this is a really cool like homebrew uh, fix for the 32X Doom that really makes it much, much better. So you can go in here. Oop, hang on. Yeah, you can set your resolution, level of detail, all that kind of stuff. And as you can see, this runs great on, you know, for 32X Doom, much better than the, the regular retail version of Doom.
Not too bad. You get the gist. So, yeah. Running great, looking great. Game Boy Advance runs. Super Nintendo, all your... You know, every, all the stuff that you would think, 8-bit and 16-bit stuff. And I'm experimenting, trying new stuff, trying new things. So I will update more when I get some more stuff tested. I just have to get my new thumb drive before I can really do that because I'm pretty limited at the moment. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to show you a few things running on RetroArch and, uh, you know, that uh, GameCube emulator Dolphin running because it's just amazing all right that's it for now i'll have more videos coming soon if you have questions let me know but i'm really not an expert on this i'm just trying to get it running myself but i'll tell you what i can and i'll point you in the right direction that's it talk to you later bye, -bye.